Hello again, this is Dr. M from Synthesis Med Ed, and welcome to a new segment named Bite Size Biochem. Now, what I've noticed is that, as with most things, the key to understanding biochemistry is to have a really good understanding of the basics, and that is exactly why I created this segment. So without further ado, here's the first episode of Bite Size Biochem, where we'll be discussing a very important molecule in the TCA cycle, acetyl-CoA. So remember, the cells use glucose and oxygen in order to create energy, and glucose is a six-carbon molecule. During glycolysis, we break this molecule in half into two pieces, each one having three carbons, and that's called pyruvate. Pyruvate then enters the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, where one of those carbons gets snapped off and eliminated as CO2, and what we're left with is a two-carbon group known as an acetyl group. And here's where we have to go back to the OCHEM basics. So why is this called an acetyl group? Well, let's go back to day one of organic chemistry, where we learned that the most simple hydrocarbon molecules are called alkanes. And a two-carbon alkane is called ethane. If we take the ethane and put a carboxyl group on it, it's now known as ethanoic acid. And the common name for ethanoic acid is acetic acid. If we take a molecule of acetic acid and then turn it into a substituent that we're going to stick onto another molecule, then we have to use the suffix YL, and it becomes an acetyl group. So now we have an acetyl group, which is a two-carbon carboxylic acid that we're going to stick onto something else. So this molecule has a reactive end, in other words, a sticky end. And as with anything sticky, you got to protect the sticky end until it's time to use it. So just like when you have a sticker or anything adhesive, there's an adhesive backing or paper on the back of that to protect it that you have to peel off. With this molecule, the adhesive backing is another molecule called coenzyme A, abbreviated as CoA. Now here's the part where most people's brains start to short circuit. They pay too much attention to the coenzyme A, and that's not the important part of the molecule. The important part of the molecule is the acetyl group. The coenzyme A is just the backing on the back of the sticker that's protecting the sticky end. So what's coenzyme A made out of? It's a big, ugly molecule made of vitamin B5, an ADP, and a phosphate group on the side. And none of this is important. The important part of the coenzyme A molecule is this little sulfhydryl group right on the end, because that's the reactive end where it's going to attach with the acetyl group. And that's why you'll see this molecule often abbreviated as coash And when we draw a picture of acetyl-CoA, oftentimes you'll see the sulfur group drawn in as well. Now, when it's time to finally use this acetyl-CoA, we take the sticker backing off, and what we're left with is two carbons. We then take these two carbons and feed that right into the TCA cycle. So the main idea is this. Acetyl-CoA is a two-carbon carboxylic acid that we feed into the TCA cycle. And the CoA is nothing more than a protective cap that keeps the reactive end of the acetyl group protected until it's ready to use. And that's it for this first episode of Bite Size Biochem. Hope it helped.